Hey everybody, welcome to Dragon Bane. We've got some new folks in the chat. Glad you guys could um, come hang out with us. And I was just chatting with uh, K. <laughs> How am I going to say this right? K K O K O K O K I can't even say it. K O Clips K O Clips on our Discord server. Speaking of which, yeah. if you guys are on our Discord, there's a link down below. Come hang out hey, with Brandon. us. Um, there will also be one in the chat. Because Ryan's going to drop it. Brandon, in. you. Shallow clips. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Uh, anyway, tonight we are continuing with the campaign. We're almost to episode 20. We are just one shy away. So this is the longest uh, campaign I've run on stream so far. So it's kind of cool. But uh, before I begin, uh, like the stream, please. I almost forgot to ask. Or if you're watching this in the future, uh, like the um, like the VOD. It helps us on the algorithm. And uh, a big happy birthday to Kevin Hernandez, who's joining us on his birthday. So, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, let me thank some people. So, all of the Dragonbane folks out there, especially um, Patrick, uh, Dragonbane uh, Foundry System developer. Makes our lives a lot easier. Uh, for music, we have Andreas, with a, which you're listening to right now. The uh, official Dragonbane soundtrack. But we also have some Noel in the mix. So, we're representing Ryan and I, the Null, the Null shirt, not Matt's. <laughs> He's representing yes. Shirley, Shirley Jackson tonight. Boom. Oh, yeah. Pure darkness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you to uh, them for allowing us to use the music on the stream. Uh, go check them out. Uh, links down below. Uh, Andreas of SoundCloud and Hi Matt's direct Bandcamp page link where you can go buy all their cool dungeon synth. And, uh, oh yeah, podcast. I almost forgot again, because I always forget. Uh, we are now on podcast, in podca on podcast, in podcast format. So uh, there's a link down below for the RSS feed, or you can just search the Adventure Archive TTRPG podcast there. I've been really uploading like mad, so there's quite a few uh, episodes up there. Dragon Bane is current. Uh, most of Merkborg is up. All of Death in Space is up. Um... I'm gonna do Frontier Scum next, I think. So I'm I'm continuing with a with a daily upload. So go check it out if you want to listen to us in the car or something. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let us begin with a recap. Oh yeah, that's right. Thanks for reminding me, Nub Five, Noob Five. Uh, we we have some Dragon Bane channels on our Discord server too now because the Dragon Bane shows kind of picked up. And we had a request for like spoilery talk, so there's spoilery GM stuff in there. If you guys want to know about the campaign uh, that the players don't know about, and then um, there's also just a standard channel there, and uh, that is where the character sheets are. So if you guys want to check out, because unfortunately we can't share that like with a um, a uh, D and D Beyond kind of vibe on the stream. So I, I took some screenshots up there. They're current. They're going to change. So I'll probably change them periodically as the characters uh, progress. In their journeys in the Misty Vale. So, last time, you guys uh, were in the middle of a fight with a sea serpent crossing the raging river, and uh, you you <laughs> you came out okay because I think it was Seriel who uh, scored an attack on its tail, which uh, made it go mad and start attacking itself, and that is how it dwindled its hit points so quickly, because those beasts are um, they're not typically weak. Uh, and that was featured in the uh, the new best bestiary from uh, Dragon Bane. There's also going to be. I'm trying to make as much use of it as I can to surprise the players because I think most of them have the rule book. Um, anyway, after that, you guys made like it. I've read it. <laughs> you guys, you guys uh, made it uh, across the bridge to safety onto the other side of the bank. Uh, made your way to the cottage, which turned out to in fact be Antilia's cottage. However, she's missing. And um, you guys investigated the place a little bit. Seriel found some, uh, like a hidden little chest under the floorboards, uh, under the rug, and found two healing potions and a, uh, a bag of marbles. Very, very attractive looking marbles. And um, you guys also discovered uh, some, some silver, some gray fur. And Morning Cloak immediately recognized it with a sniffer. That is, in fact, another wolfkin. 
and he has caught sense of this beast and they are heading north away from the uh, the cottage uh, to um, to follow the scent and right before we ended last time they made it to what you see in in front of you now so they follow the scent uh, through these um, and these are also listed on or, or kind of mentioned in, in 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 rudimentary form on the overland map but they're these standing stones they're very ancient uh, they have strange markings on them it's very very foggy very misty and uh, as they approached they witnessed a uh, a head a floating ghostly head of an old man and he was muttering something they couldn't quite make it out doesn't seem to be paying them any mind so that is where we are going to start tonight everybody and um, just some morning cloak knows the scent continues northward through this um through this uh this 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 standing stone area so i will unpause the game and we can begin did i was i here for the last episode yeah you were you had quite the oh i forgot to mention you 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 and darrow had kind of a come to jesus moment um at the very end because morning cloak felt a little frustrated on his uh his purposelessness as as you're wandering around the misty vale but you you have no memory of that <laughs> No, I do. I remember all of that, but like I don't remember the muttering ahead at the end. I think my brain oh, literally just maybe like we, turned maybe, off. Yeah, maybe we cut. Maybe because uh, I kind of threw that at the very, very end. Right, we got you guys were making uh, your way north, but yeah. So you're in this. They're in this. Um, this very misty area where there's all these ancient standing stones, um, and they're. You guys kind of as you're walking your way through, this this head, this this old man with a wispy beard, his head kind of floats around one of these stones. And he's muttering to himself, uh, wandering about, floating about um, this area. Uh, just doesn't seem to be paying any attention to you. But as I mentioned, the scent goes beyond. It keeps going um, through this area, if you'd like to keep following. Is he um, close, or the head? Is it the head close enough to, for us to make out words? Uh, not at the moment. He's kind of muttering under his breath if he did have breath. Um, so it's just kind of a... Uh, you'd probably have to get closer to uh, to really make out what he's saying. And is there no other way? Yeah, you can go around if you want. There's just this standing of stones. It kind of caught your eye. You guys are facing it. You guys aren't necessarily in it, in it. So yeah, if you guys want to like go around it, yeah, you totally can. What say you? Shall we? Shall we go around, or the quickest way would be through this? Yes, pi pass by giant floating head. This feels like the right choice, I think. When she says things like that, I can't tell if she's serious or not. I don't. Serious, she's serious. Um. <laughs> this, it's not my lady love that I'm chasing so if you want to detour that's up to you half man well uh, I think that you just said that the, the scent continues northward which is through this so uh, so let's press on ahead then I suppose Okay. And I move so, uh, into the mist. We're going into it. You're going through this area? Yes. Okay. So you start moving through this area. Um, and this, this head kind of just keeps floating around, almost like catching the mist, creating trails. Doesn't seem to care about you whatsoever. You do get close enough to hear what it is saying. And uh, he... He has a very frail voice. He's saying, Leary, Leary, where are you? Looking for creatures again? Come out, come out. It appears as if he's addressing a person named Leary. That he is uh, calling her, him, it, who knows. Mm. But over and over and over, muttering this... Come out, come out. Are you looking for critters again? 
and he kind of goes behind one of the stones, comes back around. He's just kind of like, you know, uh, threading his way through these things. And we don't hear anyone, like a whisper on the wind, talking about a cheese helmet. No? Okay. <laughs> That's a reference to Dennis Leary. Oh! Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Stand-up comic from a hundred years ago. Oh, I remember anyway. Dennis Leary. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I just like the idea of a cheese helmet. Cheese helmet. So you're talking about oh. football. Um. <laughs> um, but we don't see any other movement. No, no other movement whatsoever. Just these stones and this this kind of ghostly head thing floating around. Oh. Um. Uh, Daryl is going to sense magic. Oh, okay. Um, do you have? Is that a uh, an ability? Yes. Yes. How does, how does it? <laughs> how you does can it... sense uh, whether the place you are in or an item you are holding is affected by magic, and oh, if so, what kind? Of magic. So, um, you do not sense any magic here. Hmm. Good waste of a little PowerPoint. <laughs> right, uh, well, uh, onwards. Okay. So, Sariel, Morning Cloak, are you guys just pressing onwards? Because I can bring up the Overland map if you want to just keep pushing forward. You yes? Said the... That's fine. <clears throat> we can continue forward. All right. So, let us activate. Misty Vale Overland and zoom in. Whoosh. Okay. So we ignored we ignored Big Head Man. Well, he's not a big head. He's just like a ghostly head floating around. I'm not sure. Isn't this like the second ghostly head we've encountered? Yeah, it's a little bit of a uh, Merkborg throwback. A little callback. A little callback. So no. you guys are um, here-ish. So as you can see, there's um, the stones. Um, you do see the beginnings of a lake to materialize on the horizon. And you do find that this, um, the scent continues along the, the bank of the, um, of the river, not the river, the lake. I just said lake. So journey wise, it's a bit of a distance. So I guess it depends on where you guys want to go. Um, if you guys want to go straight to the bank, it's only about... Yeah, it's pretty short, two and a half kilometers. Um, We're following uh, Morning Cloak. Yeah. And I imagine that he is following the scent. Yes. So I guess my question to you guys or Morning Cloak is, once you guys get to the bank, which doesn't take very long, um, you do see that it kind of snakes along the bank heading north. So if you guys want to keep following it, you can. Otherwise, let me know. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Morning Cloak is not mad, but, you know, I am currently, apparently, just a a Morning Star and a Nose, so I will let the Half-Man get the information and, allow, okay. and lead us to, uh, to our, our prey. So I will say, you guys make it all the way to this little, uh, it takes a day. So you guys make it all the way up here. Just as night is falling. And uh, you see this, uh, this is where the scent ends. And what is greeting you in the distance is a, uh, a ruined tower on a very small island. And that morning cloak, granted, there's water in the middle, but that is where you uh, you believe the uh, the sense uh, ended up. It is. It is over there. Well, uh, well, Darrow is going to. Um... Uh, I suppose the this arch over here is the closest uh, 
land we can get to? Uh, I mean, you're bad English, but <laughs> you're you're. Uh, I mean, maybe uh, you're not you're not there yet. I'll say it's like a little speck in the distance. Um, oh. But the uh, where you guys are, the the wa I mean, the 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 um, the land leads down to the water. You guys can walk down to the to the um, to the lake's edge if you want to. It's not like you guys are standing on this big cliff and can't get down to it. Someone should hold Master Louis. He is wont to throw himself into the water. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, he's going to go down there and investigate, uh, see if he can see any tracks leading into uh, the water. Yeah. So, yeah, you walk down there and you indeed see tracks. You see. Hmm wolf tracks or wolfkin tracks you're not quite sure you also do see another pair of tracks they look like they're made by human feet perhaps someone wearing boots and they just goes off into the water you also see a um a uh, a makeshift stake a makeshift dock maybe it's this, it's, this, it's this log that's hammered into the sand, and there's a rope there. And the rope is um, just lying coiled on the sand. And we can see the end of that rope? Uh, yeah, definitely. Well, shit. None of it's in the water. All right, Darrow is going to wade into the water. Okay. Um, and when he gets, I guess, waist high, mm -hmm. he's going to, I don't know, I rarely swim, but he's going to go uh, deep enough that he can sort of uh, get his head under the water and have a little look, see if he can oh, see Oh, you want to look and see? So, yeah, yes. you, um, you, you, you dip your head down below the surface of the water. It's murky. You don't really see mm. much other than that. Good. You don't see any sea monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, does the rope look like it is long enough to uh, reach the little island? No, I mean there's a there's a distance. Of water here. I think I have an image I found. Let me um, let me see, just to give you kind of a little bit of a. Because remember this this map is um, it's not to scale to scale clearly, but there is a distance of water between you and this little island. Right. Yeah, um, you could swim it. The water is very calm. It's cold, but um, it's not. It's a lake. It's a very still lake. There's not much disturbance. Uh, nothing, nothing moved that you saw. You know, um, as you got into the water. Right, uh, Lady Seriel, what doth, what doth uh, thine uh, elf eyes see when you look at the the island in the distance? Can you see a boat, for example? Hmm. So I'm going to take a closer look. Can I go to, like, the end of this little horn here? Oh, that's what I see. Yeah. Let me zoom out mm. for for, uh, for stream people. So, yeah, you guys are kind of... Um, we'll just do this really quick. Oops. So you guys are kind of more, you know... On the other side of the, the bank down here. And yeah, you see this little ruined tower in the distance on this island. Do I see any kind of boat or any dock or anything over there? Do you have a spyglass at all? Does anybody have a spyglass? No? I don't. I'll say you see what might be a boat on the opposite 
bank over there. Uh, it's, it's really difficult. You see some movement along the water, but again, this is, you know, it's a bit of a ways, ways out. Um, Daryl, yes, quite, quite difficult to see this far, but I think I may see what looks like both, as well as a little bit of movement along the shore. But I can't tell if it's waves or something else. Hmm. Are you proposing another boat adventure? <laughs> well, uh, we don't have a boat. Um, <clears throat> so I guess we have to go to the island first uh, in order to acquire the boat. And with that... Wanted... Yes? Yeah. <laughs> Do we want to go to um, that archway? See what that's about first? Uh... Yes, I suppose Maybe so. Maybe there's a boat over there. All right. So you guys yes. want to make your way up the bank uh, to try to go and in investigate that archway? Yes. But that might be better than just jumping in right now. I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, Morning Cloak is fond of, of liquid. I think we've, we've figured that out. Love skin is far away. Big fan. So, and another... Let's see. It takes, again, a little bit of time. Night is definitely... Uh, night has fallen completely. Mm. So you guys, when you guys make it to this uh, this archway. And yeah, it's a very Can ancient... I, like... Go ahead. Sorry. No, Can no, I, I do, do... A, like a bushcraft roll to see if we get there faster? Oh, sure. Why not? See if you can find. I mean, it, well, you really just need to follow the um, the bank. <clears throat> I wouldn't say there's okay. not there's not going to be really a shortcut. It's everything's in plain sight. So, uh, he's already turned the lights on, off. I know. Can't, can't, <laughs> can't turn the light on again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna light a torch. Oh, okay. As it turns nighttime. So when you guys get over here, there's a little torch going on. Okay. So there's your little torch. Yeah, you guys make it to this archway. It's uh, the again the, the 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 lake water is lapping gently on the shore. Um, this this archway is very very old. It's very reminiscent of. A lot of the ancient masonry you've seen around these around the Misty Vale, the standing stones, the um, the bridge that that was uh, crossing the well almost crossed the broken bridge uh, that at once at one time crossed the river. Uh, you're seeing very similar kind of artistry in the uh, in the stonework. But um, you investigate the um, the bank. You look around. Uh, you don't find a boat, but you find. Um, like old pieces of wood. They, they might have been part of a boat at one point, but it's all destroyed. It looks like maybe it shattered against rocks. Maybe it's been just destroyed by time and sun, weather. But um, there are some long planks of wood that are kind of uh, there on the bank. You can make like a paddleboard or something. Indeed. Uh, do we have to make like a crafting? No. I mean, if you, well, uh, well, tell me what you're trying to do. Um, I guess a, a raft of some kind that okay. would, uh, that could carry um, a uh, large wolfkin <laughs> uh, without uh, getting his Plate mail rusty. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll say there's enough wood scattered about to kind of make a raft of some kind. Maybe you guys have your rope. Well, or did you leave the rope behind? We left the rope behind. Yes. 
Yes, I left mine behind, at least. I left mine. Yeah, it does appear that from this uh, this vantage, this point on the bank, uh, the island is closer. Mm. So I would say it's probably, I don't know, 50-ish yards maybe, meters. <laughs> let's, let's use the uh, the metric. Oh. Ish. So you, it's it's you could swim across. You think I don't know if someone wearing cha- you know plate mail could, but um, it's swimmable. Can we uh, convince Morning Cloak that he can sit on a plank? <laughs> we can sort of carry him over. <laughs> I don't know. Can you? Um. <laughs> Not that I'm scared of the water. I just don't like it. I'll do what I need to do, clearly. Yes, I'm just worried that you will, uh, you won't be able to swim across in the plate mail. I don't know if you want to wear the plate mail and so that you are ready immediately when we arrive on the island. If you want us to sort of drag you along on a little raft and then you can sort of jump, jump up and be ready for action. That is up to you. So how much wood do we have? Uh, I'll say you have enough to make enough planks of wood you guys can put together to make, I don't know, maybe like what, an eight... Maybe eight to ten board wide raft if you wanted to, or you could, yeah, you know, we would need rope to do that. Yeah, you need a rope to, yeah. Nobody's got any rope. Some rope and tar, maybe. <laughs> what if maybe, uh, maybe you put a plank under one foot, plank under other foot. Um, you hold on to my snare and I pull you. Like jet ski. <laughs> you, you swim that fast. <laughs> so we can uh, move like jet ski. Is that... Uh, I'm sure it's very, very, nice to do very slow. Do. Yeah, Louie. He's not here, so you should just have him go scout. <laughs> hey, Louie, go swim across the lake and see what's over there. No, um, what about... I have a large tent. Can we just like oh. lay the boards out and like throw the tent over it and like because that's also going to be buoyant and have it almost be like just the the wood is like the frames for the yeah rack. yeah I yeah I, w- I would say it's yeah it's not waterproof for anything but I guess you could probably like a bed sheet right is that what you're thinking like stack the why wouldn't boards a tent be, and... why wouldn't a tent be waterproof it's for camping it would probably be like oiled canvas wouldn't it okay sure but I mean either way you guys are using it like a bed sheet right. Like that's what you're thinking. Yeah, basically, my thought is like lay the boards out, maybe like, you know, like four with one and four with one, so there's at least a little structure to it. And if we just throw the tent over it, it'll at least like kind of hold it roughly together. And you guys will like kind of just jump on your bellies and paddle over, maybe. Yeah, we'll do like Jack and just like hang on to the edge and yeah, or yeah, we'll just like yeah lay on our bellies and just have like our feet over. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Why don't you? so I guess you guys lie all the boards out. You you get your tent. You drape it over this thing, and um, who's how, how are you guys yeah. all getting on this for the maiden voyage? Are you guys one at a time? You guys all belly flopping? Like what's the plan? Well, yeah. I mean, so I my thought is that the wolfkin is big and has plate, so it'll probably be like mostly on it to try to keep the water off, and everyone else can get as on it as much as they want, and we'll all just like kind of kick our way across. Is that, <laughs> is that the you general know, like, font? You should starfish on it to like just even out the yeah. weight. <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe even Morning Cloak is holding on to like the outer boards. Mm. Keeping just... it together. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. This is, is going to look so stupid. And Louis going to be the perfect target uh, from the tower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Louis, yeah. Louis, the Louis's little paddle feet, right, or the um, his little flipper feet, or the the propeller. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you guys, you guys get on this thing, um, and then I guess because this is precarious, because there is a risk of perhaps falling into the water. Why does why don't every why doesn't everybody roll me a um, 
I'll give you guys all a boon to it though, since you guys were able to assemble this makeshift raft. Um, agility, maybe? Yeah, I guess it would be no. agility or strength. I think strength for me, I'm trying to like hold it all together. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, so let's do that. Since you are sort of the anchor, you, you are the the mortar for this thing. Because <laughs> you're going to like, you have an 18, I don't want to roll strength. And then why doesn't everybody else roll me a um, an agility? With a boon? Yes. Yeah, you guys get boons. Ooh. How about, uh, Ooh. How about a dragon? Oh my god, you like... Nice. You you reinforce this raft with your uh, your very steady steady um, arms and legs. You are quite the the wolf starfish. Okay, everybody succeeded. Right. <laughs> You're saying he's a furry starfish. It's a furry right. starfish, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Hard even chat. Louis, he succeeded as well. Okay, so yeah, you guys make it all the way across to the other side. Very exhausted because it is nightfall. You guys have been walking all day. Uh, but yeah, you make it to this little this little island and I'll uh, change the scene once I find it. It is, um, yeah, oh yeah, I gotta make it nighttime though. Nighttime. So we've been going for two shifts. Wait. Two shifts? I thought you guys slept and then... When did we sleep? Well, you left. I thought you guys left. Um, didn't you tackle the river in the morning? Yes. And now it's dark. So it seems like it's been 12 hours. Yeah, so... Thereabouts, which yeah. is two shifts. Yeah, you guys are... Oh, I see what you're saying. So let me put everybody. We need to sleep one shift uh, out of four. That's uh, why I'm. Good call, rules master. I guess I yes. don't need to put Louis in here yet because he is. Um, he's not here. Okay, so let me activate. So yeah, you guys make it to this. Um, to this bank. Uh, you indeed do find that there is a, um, there is a boat tethered to the shore, rocking in the, uh, the gentle lapping of the, uh, the lake's current. So, yeah, you guys kind of flop onto the, uh, the shore, exhausted. Definitely need to, uh, to rest. But this, um, this tower, uh, it is, uh, Looming above you with uh, what little moonlight makes its way through the clouds. Hmm. Uh, is there a, a good place to uh, have a rest for uh, Yeah, six so hours? there's a bit of a. Um, I guess you can't see it, but there's a bit of an overhang right here. So you guys get up onto the bank. Um, there's a rock wall and then a path that leads kind of this way. Mm. All right. Can we set up the tents? The wet tent. <laughs> Soggy tent. Yeah. I mean, we have our sleeping first, I think. Yeah. Whatever. I, yeah. I don't think you necessarily need, need that out here. You guys can just sleep. That's fine. So you guys take and watch. Yes, we have to. Yeah. We don't have to. Well, it is in fact against the rules, but yes. Okay. First watch. Sariel's first watch? No. Okay. I shall go second. Okay. But Louis a third in morning clock will be last. We can just wake up early. Okay, so Serio, are you just kind of sitting around uh, while the rest of them slumber, or are you 
taking a look see anyway anywhere or what are you doing on your yeah watch? i think i'll kind of like pace around this area and like just check check it out but like keep my eye like never wander fa too far to where i can't see the group okay um yeah you walk around and you see very very faint light coming from actually there's like a little bit of a second area up here second story mm -hmm. And you see a little bit of light, a little speck of light. Oops, I didn't save it. Flickering. Right now it's flickering. Mm. So, so I'll zoom from in. what looks like the entrance of the. Uh, well, so tower. it's kind of hard to tell because again, you are on this lower level. There's a little rock wall leading up. There's some trees kind of occluding the area. Your vision, but. This tower rises. It's not an incredibly tall tower. It's probably two levels at most, two stories. Um, and you see this kind of ruinous like walkway kind of coming out, jutting out from the side on the second level. And um, there's a little bit of light coming from what might be an entrance, what might be a door of some kind. Mm. It's hard to say. It's very, very faint, though. Okay. It's a little pinprick. All right. I'm gonna keep my eye on the light and like check back and forth at the party and then the light and see if I can see any movement at a light. <clears throat> okay. No, your uh your uh watch goes by uneventful outside of the the little speck of light you see on that second level. Okay. And Darrow's oh. next? Yeah, Darrow's next. Yes. Okay. I'll wake him up. Okay. What? Oh, yes. So, Darrow, what is... something. Oh, go ahead. I saw, I saw light up there. I can give you... I can hold you up if you want to see. But I can walk. I can walk on. by myself. Yes, but you oh, might not be tall I? enough to see all of this. Hmm. I'm a big boy. Let me, let me know if you need boost. All right. You just go to bed and uh, okay. not worry about me. Go sleep. Okay. I appreciate the, the concern, but yes. Uh, imagine if she saw me being held up like a, a baby. That would be ridiculous. Um, but yes, uh, so Daryl is going to walk up this little, um, the little path, and mm -hmm. he is especially uh, curious about this, this little um, stone cone. Ah, yeah. So you walk up there, and it's, it is a cone-like structure, almost like a cairn. But it's almost as if the. Um, the stone has been the stones have been here so long that their their gaps have kind of fused together, almost like fossilized. It's strange. Like ossified. And you do see markings on it. Ah. And it says Let me find this stupid thing I wrote. Oh, it says she who waits. She who feasts, and it's just written all over this stone. We have heard that before. Yes, you do uh, recall. Seriel found it marked under the rug in the cottage of Antilia, scrawled yes. with uh, coal, it appeared to be. Waits, feasts, and... She who waits, she who feasts. Oh, that's it? Okay. That's it. And it just repeats over and over and over again. 
Hmm. Let's hope she is. She is not hungry. <laughs> um, can he see the the light from uh, from where yeah, I'm standing? Yeah, yeah, you definitely can. You see a little pinprick of light on the second story walkway, mm -hmm. and you can see again. It's this very crumbled, ruined walkway just kind of jutting out from the side of this tower and it's it appears to be like a sec second structure that has kind of collapsed and it kind of leads into that but you can't quite see a way up from where you're standing here mm -hmm. and I don't see any other entrances I guess it's too dark to see any like uh, entrances into the the tower on like a, a bottom level no, I'll say, yeah, I'll say you can definitely, from where you're standing, you can see right, my clicker would work, right here, mm. there's a darkened entrance that is darker than the night that surrounds you. Mm. Right. Um, he's going to watch the, the light for a while, see if uh, it makes sense to... Uh, to think that someone is walking past said light or if it's just flickering in the wind or if it's like uh, maybe someone is walking past uh, walking a, a patrol perhaps or yeah so um, you do not see anything of that sort it's just like kind of a flickering light source could be a candle could be a torch could be a fire it's hard to tell from where you are mm. all right Yep, that's uh, that's about it. Okay. He is a bit afraid uh, that he'll get lost if he walks too far. Okay. All right, so you head back, and is it morning? No, morning cloaks last, right? Yeah. So, Louie, who's, who's Louie in tonight? Yes, I am. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Yes, sir. We dreams. Oh, oh, were you gonna say something? No. I, oh, now I'm <laughs> taking your accent for some reason. No, no. Uh, there is a a pyramid of some sort uh, up there, but don't venture too far if you if you are thinking about uh, having a look around. All right. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> All right. Um, I think Louie is going to maybe go along like the edge of the water here. Oh, okay. Like check out this area. Just that little area over there. Yeah, like kind of along this coast line, like maybe from here to there. Okay. Right. So you make it all the way to this point here. And um, oh, why is that not? Oh, wait, do I need to zoom out for the stream? Yeah, I think I do. So you make your way all the way to this rocky area right here. And Louis, you climb to the tallest rock. You do notice something. You notice that the water almost appears to be darker. A little bit farther out. It's not quite where you are, but you see this kind of this pool of darkness on the lake. And you surmise that it's it's either some kind of magical darkness or maybe it's just depth in the water. Maybe the water is far deeper. In that area, which is kind of strange because you guys are on an island, so presumably mostly it's gradual, but there seems to be maybe a massive drop. But again, it's a little a bit trench. farther out. It's not quite where okay. you're standing. It's more like uh, it appears to get darker, like out here. So you're standing like right here. That is pretty close. And it's like it starts to get darker out here, and, it, and again, it kind of you know wraps around um, the the island, so you can't quite see how far it goes. Mm. Interesting. 
Right, that's as far as he wants to go anyway. Okay. He's not going to like go check it out. Okay. So then you return to Wig Morning Cloak? Yeah. Okay. Morning Cloak. Is there anything Morning Cloak would like to do on his watch? Um... I don't think I'm going to explore the islands much. I'm going to keep an eye out, but I want to, like, just... I think I want to take the time to just, like, quasi-meditate as I, like, get my gear in order. I'm sure there's some things that are a little bit wet. I'm sure that, like, I could probably take, like, piece by piece off my armor to make sure that, like, it's not dry inside. I want to make sure you okay. know, my... Everything's, everything's in place, and this is kind of my, like meditative you know what i mean like i have a whole like ritualistic nature to it and i like think as i work through it kind of like i've done it so much that it's like almost second nature so my mind can kind of wander and okay you know think so, about you know halflings and and ladies and apparently so, wolf kin yeah so as you do this you get in the zone as you often do meticulously you know taking yeah, care of your gear of um it's almost as if you see something like cast by the moonlight right before you. But then as you kind of look around, it seems to follow your vision. And it appears to be this kind of snaking, almost a vine-like structure. And these leaves kind of sprout off it and then recede and it kind of like shrivels to nothing. But again, it's almost like it's not like you're seeing a picture of this, right? Like a like a photorealistic picture. It's more like a shadowy kind of um, uh, spectral version of like a vine. It's very dark. Like it looks like a shadow cast on everything, anywhere you look. But it's very brief. Catches your eye, and you see it kind of grow outward, and then it recedes back. So it's like over everything or is it like just one vine? It's a little vine right in front of you, but you, you kind of, you're, you're, you're messing with your armor or whatever you're doing. And then you see it like on your hands, it's, you're almost kind of like startled. Like, oh, what the hell is that? Something's casting over me. You look up, there's nothing but the uh, overcast sky. And then and you look to the left, you look to the right, and it almost appears as if it's like superimposed on your vision. But onto the the rocky surface or your armor or whatever it is you're doing at the time. Is this something that I feel like I'm like fills me with dread or fills me with like, well, uh, partially, I, I would say that the way it manifested kind of gives you pause. It's a little questionable because it wasn't a beautiful sight. There was growth and then there appeared to be almost death as this this what appeared to be a vine with leaves kind of grew and then receded to, to nothing coiled in on itself no color though it just looks like a shadow kind of cast upon wherever it was you were looking i want to look over at darrow okay is he asleep yeah the fucker <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's you sleepy fucker. Just making sure he's not just like like one eye open like oh, one sticking out a of little... a sleeping bag, just like doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I didn't think about like, that. That would be funny to have little little tricks. Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah. No, I mean then I, I'll just look over like the rest of the party as well. Okay. Yeah, everybody's slumbering. Kind of Muttered to myself and I'm just like what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, other than that, you, the night goes by. Completely uneventful. The sun rises. You no longer see this light flickering on the second level. Yeah, you guys wake um, to the sounds of birds squawking, water lapping on the bank, and there you are. I do not 
um, communicate what I saw to anybody. Okay. Ah, very good. Uh, come now. Uh, Louis is gonna communicate what he saw, and so is Sarah. Okay. <clears throat> you guys remember <clears throat> all that? Yeah, like the the cavern or trench in the water off the island, and then the the flickering light. Okay. Uh, as they walk past the cairn, um, Darrow is going to uh, to mention that uh, the th the notes about uh, feasting and uh, waiting and whatever. Be on the lookout. Um, I'm sure whatever. Whatever that is, uh, who is waiting and feasting, is probably dead. But look at the stone, it's very, very old. I'm sure there's nothing. Uh, now, I did see a an opening uh, down there. <laughs> points to um, the shadowy uh, entrance. This area here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um... Is it easy to get to it from where we are? Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty easy walk. So you guys, like I said, this, this area where you are is a little bit lower, close to the water, and there's a little path that leads up this way, and this, this level's a little bit higher. And this is where you were last time, Darrow, and, and you can see it. It's, it's directly within your, your eye shot. Hmm. And again, now that the, the sun has risen, you guys have a better look around uh, you do see that you can clearly see there's some kind of walkway that is coming out from the side um, you do see an indication of a door uh, on the second level and then over here is just kind of like some kind of structure that had crumbled long ago uh, you'd probably have to walk around to the other side to see anything else but there there's a wall leading up there's a tree right here and it's kind of growing, you know, up against the stonework and kind of intermingling with it. Mm. But yeah, there is an open door, open passageway right here that's dark. Um, yeah, let's boogie. <laughs> uh, he's going to try to uh, climb down the hill. Okay. And approach... The okay. Opening. Are you approaching quietly, carefully, sneakily, or just kind of uh, sauntering up there? Yes, I would say there? it's sneakily. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Morning folk uh, hit the uh, shift rest button also. Yeah, so it was. Is that the foot or is it the other one? The foot, yeah. Oh, make sure to mark off a ration. I'm assuming you guys ate as well. Cool. Okay, yeah, so Darrow, rations. you make your way up quietly to this, uh, this doorway. Um, how close are you getting? Like all the way up to it and sticking your head in? Or what's the idea? Um, yeah. But uh, stealthy like. Okay, I'll zoom in a little bit here. So you are right by this doorway. Okay. So you make your way up to this um this opening it's still very black because again it's it's clearly as dark inside there's sunlight out here it's difficult to kind of gauge what's going on inside but you do hear um you hear something you hear it almost sounds like the sloshing of water but it's it's very echoey there's a resonance to it mm. And if I look inside, can I see um, the source of the sound? Can you can you sense the source of the sound, like what it well, is? Can or I what? see? Can I see? Uh, no, no, no. If I poke my head, uh, all right. Yeah, you do not um, see anything. Are you gonna like fully walk inside? Because again, it's it's a pretty big entryway. Um, you probably have to 
really be across the threshold to kind of acclimate to the lighting a bit. All right. Um, yeah, he's going to make some cool uh, hand signals to the others, indicating that he is going inside. Um, okay. So whatever those are. All right, so Waldero, right before he steps over the threshold of this <laughs> mysterious tower, Morning Cloak Serial, you see him do his... Uh, his gang signs that he's going in. That was not a gang sign. <laughs> that was a callback. Well, I, I, I wasn't looking. I just saw it in my peripheral. Light. It looks something like this. Oh, God damn. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Serial so does this Victory back. Victory squared, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. I sure hope the others follow <laughs> instead of making fun of my hand signs. <laughs> so yeah, speaking of that, you see him get engulfed in darkness. What is Morning Cloak and Serial doing? Turn around, leave. <laughs> I leave. Bye. Um, <clears throat> oh, I forgot to mention, Morning Cloak, you have re regained the scent. Yeah, no, I guess I, I'll look over to Sarah and I'll just be like. Yes. What? Does the, does the scent grow stronger? Yes, the scent grows stronger, but we're following a halfling into the dark. I feel like. He's definitely the perfect one to lead right now. And then you can lead if you'd like. No, no, I am apparently a follower at this point. But after you, Madame. Okay, I'm going to um, go in. Following Darrow in, and then Morning Cloak is following after. Okay. Well, no, I'll boot. I'll boot the duck in front of me too, and I'll bring up the rear. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing like a, like one of these things, just like really watching her back and, and everything. I got there's three people in front of me, so I definitely want to make sure that, our rear is covered, and an eye on our six. Eye you on know? your six. So morning cloak, just as you make your way to the to the to the doorway to this threshold, you hear, the sound of, fluttering wings. Maybe like a, a very gentle flutter of feathers perhaps but it's it's one it's it's there one moment gone the next and now i gotta move you guys into where you walked into so Dero seriel i won't worry about um My finger is hovering over the sneaking skill. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll ask you to roll if you, if you need, if I need a roll. So yeah, you guys make it inside this tower, and uh, Darrow, the sound of this the sloshing water becomes even louder as you enter this thing, and it's almost as if this tower is just acting as like a an echo chamber. And it's just enhancing the sound. There is a massive pit in the middle of the floor. And you see what appears to be shimmering water. And it's like casting these just fractal reflections all over the stonework everywhere. Um, you do see light coming in from various windows that you did see outside. So here. And it appears to be that there's maybe another exit over here. Maybe on the reverse side of the tower. But you also see a... Smaller tower with a closed door, wooden door, right here. And there's a tiny bit of flickering light coming from it. From one of the, uh, there's like these, you know, wooden panels that make up the door. Maybe there's a knot hole or something, but there's a little bit of light coming through. 
All right, uh, he's going to stealth up to uh, to that um, door. So you're sneaky, sneaky boy in it. Yes. Why don't you roll me a sneaky boy check? Will do, sir. Look at that. Succeeded. So yeah, you make yes. your way to this door. And you smell, mm. um, you smell burning wood. You smell what is perhaps a, a fire pit or a campfire or something like that. On the other side of this door. Mm. Can I see through the, um, whatever crack or uh, yeah, hole is in the can. door? Yeah, you put your eye up to this, this uh, piece of wood that's been chipped away. And you see another chamber on the inside stone there's stones falling everywhere it's, it appears to be a circular chamber though and there are multiple entrances well not i shouldn't say entrances let's call them alcoves potential entrances or exits that are in shadow um, and there is definitely a fire at the very center of the room that is casting light everywhere but that's all you see you don't see anybody anything hmm did you say what that middle hole was? Is it like water? You can go look at it. <laughs> you when you you are going to approach it? Am I not close enough to see? Yeah, I mean you can get basically you guys are close enough to not necessarily see. You can see there's a big hole in there. You can see kind of light coming up like reflecting out of it. And you hear the sloshing of water, almost like water oh, lapping okay. against rocks. But if you want to get to the edge and look down, you can totally do that. Maybe I'll get a little closer as I kind of make my way to where Darrow is. Let's okay. See if I can like take a little. So you peek. want to take a look down? Okay. So yeah, you peek over the edge, and in fact, you do see uh, quite far down below. Um, it looks to be a body of water, a pool of water. You carry it's it's very dark down there. With the exception of the very outer edges, you almost faintly, faintly see light, like almost torchlight, candlelight. It's a warm light, kind of here and there. But again, this this um, this well, let's call it this well. Um, the stone walls go down so far deep that it's difficult to kind of make out exactly what it is. You can just see touches of light, very similar to the light you saw on the second story on that uh that walkway mm. okay. but there's definitely water down there make a way is going to uh, go back to morning cloak and uh ask him what uh uh now that uh, now that we are in here do do you smell the is the scent stronger somewhere? Is it is it coming from anywhere special? Can you can you see? Uh, well, not see. But can you smell? Uh, has has this uh, wolfkin gone through that door? I I was just at, for example. Do I? smell all the things that he has <laughs> yeah the smell in here is definitely stronger um, musky musky yeah so you are still kind of I guess by the entrance where, you, where your token is um, but I said it yeah it is stronger here um, and it appears to be more concentrated to the direction Darrow is meaning the doorway this situation over here yes um yes indeed it does seem as if it's emanating from the doorway uh would you be so kind to as you open the door <laughs> and i will be right behind you ready with my my spells 
your lady, your door, half man. Oh, I see. Well, right ho. And uh, Daryl is going to uh, open the door uh, slowly. Okay. Hopefully, he is standing um, where the door opens and not so that he is behind the door when it opens. That'd be silly. On the hinge side. Okay, yeah. I mean, either way, you can kind of, you know, feel your way around it and you find the area where it opens. And it's, 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 it's really just kind of wedged on the stone. So there's not any kind of, you might have to pick it up a little bit and push it out. It's basically like my backyard shitty gate at my house. <laughs> it doesn't really close very well, but so it looks as if it's kind of been picked up and kind of wedged on the uh, the stone at the floor to kind of keep it in place. All right. Um, well, um, he's a strong halfling, so he's going to try to do exactly that and sort of jig it free. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to try to do it carefully and quietly or just kind of push it open? Um, I would say that strength is a priority, although uh, stealth is a consideration. He's not <laughs> going to try to, like, tear it off its hinges or anything. Okay. Uh, but as quietly, as quietly as he can... Um, Let's just okay. If you're if you're trying to be as quiet, let's just do another. Let's just do another sneaky sneaky roll because this door isn't particularly heavy. It just take a, it takes a little bit of effort to kind of push you know, push it up. So if you're trying to be quiet, mm. why don't you roll me a stealth check? Okay, so it um, it opens effortlessly, soundlessly. Excellent. And you see a bigger view of of what you saw uh, through the little. Gap in the woods. Circular room, alcoves, mm -hmm. fire in the middle. Fire in the middle, yeah. He signals to the others uh, that he's going inside. Okay. And then he does. Okay, okay. We're just tearing through maps today. So Darrow, you walk inside. Oh. You find yourself in the same chamber you saw. There's a couple of alcoves and all that. There's a big roaring fire in the center of this room. Uh, and there's someone though, now that you've entered, you can see across the way. And he's kind of, um, it's almost like a mirror image. There's these old ruined steps that lead down to this central area, and there's some more steps that are leading up to another area. Uh, he is sitting in shadow, but you do see uh, the firelight splashing on him, and he's watching you very, very carefully, very calculated. Uh, definitely a wolfkin. You can see his snout. You can see the silver fur. Uh, he's wearing very tattered clothes. And he's kind of just sitting on these steps, looking at you with one eye. You see just one eye kind of glimmering in the uh, in the firelight. Mm. So Serial and Morning Cloak, you guys are still, you know, he walked inside. Are you guys hanging back and keeping an eye out here or are you following or doing something else? Um, once he opens the door and walks in, I'm going to peek inside to see if I can see what's going on in there. Yeah. I'll if just... I see that there's like the wolfkin in there, then I guess I'll move in to back him up. Okay. I just and threw I'll... your token in there. Edge so you morning cloak. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been taking it through her and watching her back, so I, unless... I get direction or something crazy happens. I feel like it's pretty much just me in the duck in this room with like a well and like yeah. other entrances I could come. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of standing guard at the door at this point, unless I hear something that 
and make me burst into the room. Okay. So morning cloak, as you're out there kind of keeping an eye on things, you hear that the persistent slosh of the water from the well, but you also hear, um, that ruffle, that feathery ruffle again that you heard outside the tower. And you also Duck. hear a little trickle of stone clatter to the ground. Very, very list, fine stone dust. Nothing, nothing major. And it appears to be coming sort of above you on the shadowed uh, second story layers, like along the edge uh -huh. across the way. But that's it. You hear it briefly. But we can't see. Oh, sorry. What? You can't see? We can't see if we look up. No, he, well, you're in the room, right? With Daryl. So Morning Cloak, who's on the outside, he's in the main chamber. Oh. Uh, yeah, he does look up, and it's 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 dark up there, though. The upper level is definitely in shadow, so he can't quite see anything. I'll make sure I keep glancing that direction so I'm not surprised. Okay. And make sure that I look at the duck and he's not dancing or something causing the sound. Okay. So, uh, Darrow and Seriel, you're in this room. There's a shadowed figure sitting on the opposite end of it. Clearly a wolfkin. Hey, little fellow. What ho, and that? He just does not. He react? Yeah, he does. He just briefly, ever so, so subtly nods. Gives you a single nod. Who are you? <laughs> Sir? Can barely contain his... I mean, he's scared right now. He's very tense. Um... May I ask your name, sir? <laughs> oh, so that's what you say. Yes. Not who are you? Your name? <laughs> yes, well... One of the above. What is your name, sir? If I may. So you hear you hear this, this frail voice coming from across the room. Um, he says, I suppose it's customary for a uh, host to introduce himself. My name is Greyhood. Who are you? Oh, well, glad you asked. I am Warden Darrow Grey Cape. Hmm. Of the Woolen Way. Fate has brought yeah. us together. In name and proximity. So much gray. Oh, uh, yeah. This is uh, Sariel, by the way. Ah, well met, young elf. What brings you to my isle? I don't well, we get sorry. visitors. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, we... <laughs> uh, well, uh, we are sorry for the intrusion, but we are looking for a a young woman named uh, Antilia. Wow. Uh, have you have you seen her? I have. And then he whispers out of the corner of his mouth, "Hey, Cheriel, get morning cloak. <laughs> Go on, sir." <laughs> So as you do that, his, his ear kind of flicks and he says, uh, I, I smell one of my kind with you. Why does he not enter? Sir, he is not, he is not smelly. Uh, that would be me. Uh, <laughs> yes, we, we have a, a fellow uh, wolfkin, uh, in our band of compatriots. I'll go out and um, uh, say, so he's in here, we're talking to him. You want to come, come say hello? <laughs> yes. Um, I assume by he is in here, she means the wolfkin. 
Goody. Yes. All right, Duck, keep your eye on the darkness. And I'll, I'll like, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to definitely do this kind of like in a, so as we all know, the concept of like the alpha in a wolf pack has been like completely disproven for decades. And the person who created it, like apologized to the world and everyone just ignores it because that's, that's how things work. Um, so I'm not trying to be the alpha, but I definitely want to come in like at least with a hint of menace, like, like, you know, puff up, have my morning star out and everything. And then, and then look across and see what I see. Okay, yeah. So you like see loom, I would have looked like I'm looming in the doorway as I step <laughs> through, you know? Gotcha. Like, yeah, you see this uh this old you can tell as well, probably more so than the others. It's an older wolfkin. He's wearing a very tattered cloak. Uh he is wearing um you don't see any weapons on him whatsoever, but again he's he's sort of in shadow, he's keeping his distance across the room. Uh, you, you guys only do see one eye, where his other eye is, is kind of just a pit of darkness. And uh, when you enter, he stands. And you do see a little glimmer of steel at his waist. It looks like a very old dagger, perhaps, but that's it. Doesn't appear to have anything else on him. It has been so long since I've seen one of my own kind. What brings you to this isle, brother? Do I... As, I... as I'm watching him stand and I think, do I recognize him in any way? Does, like, a missing eye trigger anything? Does... So, he, to me, he's just... Yeah, you don't... Nothing really jogs your memory whatsoever, but it has been some time since you've seen one of your own. He's just very old, uh, but unfamiliar. I feel like we're creating this like background story bit that Wolfkin aren't like super common in the Misty Vale, which is fine by me. Um, <sighs> Nearly following the half man's lust, apparently. Hmm. Well, you're welcome yes. to the heat of my fire, if you wish. I apologize, I have really nothing to eat, but um, you are welcome I, to rest. I want to pull out the, the tuft of, of fur. And like, this is clearly him, right? Yeah, definitely. You, it's like you fingerprints can... to me. It's like, yes. yeah, this is yeah. this is the guy. This is him. Yeah. And all you know, pull it out and like cast it down in front of me and say, you've been traveling brother. So when you say this and do this and the, the fur just kind of trickles to the ground, you do see him tracking it all the way to the ground. And then he lowers his head. Ah, I guess I'm not as good at covering my tracks as I used to be. I have been traveling. Yes. Where is the girl? I assume you think I have kidnapped this person you seek. It doesn't well, look very know. good, does it? No. It certainly doesn't. What if I told you she came with me of her own free will? And even mm. even I tried to dissuade her of this act to come here. Ryan just blew my mind in chat. Sorry if you're a podcast listener. Um... <laughs> come watch the stream. Yeah, come watch the stream. You'll get all the Easter eggs. Um, Daryl is, uh, is going to open his arms and, and say, uh, Well, I am sure that uh, we will leave quietly once we hear it from her. 
You. <laughs> well, uh, my old bones can't go where she is. Maybe you younger folk can. I can walk you there, but just to the edge, just to the precipice. Speak plainly, sir. Whoa, what is this? What is this place? Who are you? Well, you've seen it already. Yes, but there is more than meets the eye here. It is the well in the other chamber. That is where she is. Far down what? below. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. You're saying that Antilia, the shepherd, is down in the well, that waiting. Is, that is what I'm saying. And I fear, though I have prayed to many gods, that... And he looks straight up, and you guys see at the top, there's a, uh, there's a, there's a hole in the, in the ceiling of darkness. Like a circular hole. It's almost like, again, it's another mirror image as where the campfire area is. But it's up above on the ceiling. I hope... I hope the clouds fine. hold. I hope the clouds hold. But yeah, she is waiting in the other room. Down below. In the depths. I will not stop you. No one will stop you. If you would... If you want to seek her. And that hole is the only way down? Well, perhaps if you could breathe water, you could find another way. Hmm. Sarcasm doesn't go away with age, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> Right. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <clears throat> the boys, they, they're not very good with details. They don't ever ask for all the tea, so... Um, <laughs> oh, what? You, clear, you clearly know more about this situation than you're letting on. Why did she tell you she wanted to join you? Well, um, I told her something that I probably shouldn't have. You know, we've we'd become we've become close friends. Me, an old an old man wandering the banks of the river. One time, or the sorry, the lake. I saw her tending the sheep, <laughs> and yes. uh, I'm sure you can see the irony. A wolf. And a sheep. But she uh, bade me over. She she beckoned me, and so I. I went. She's very friendly. And we had great Nothing. conversations, and she invited me back again and again. <laughs> is Daryl <laughs> looking like jealous right now, or is that just lightning flash, mother? <laughs> ref okay, no. so no, 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 no. Don't. Don't don't mistake me. There's there's nothing like that between us. Mm. Of course not. No, Jay. she's a, she's a friendly person. She is she is like a daughter to me, which makes this all the more painful. Why she okay. painful? Eh? Which is. I thought I I I, I thought we could break the curse. She told me of a Across. deep, dark secret that she hides. And um, I told her there must be another way. There must be spells. There must be magic somewhere in this, this ancient land. But she um, was fed up with it. She couldn't stand it any longer. She's so stricken with grief. And... Asked to bring her here for 
to cleanse her soul, let's say. Hmm. Yes, let's say. So this is your island. I suppose uh, you know how souls get cleansed here. Why uh, don't you um, be less poetic? Surely you saw the writing outside. It is plain okay. as day. She who waits... Of course. So, she waits below. Again, as I've mentioned, I've never been down there. These old bones can't, can't handle it. But something down there feasts. Oh, so something down there is feasting, not Antilia. Is that, <laughs> is that what you're saying? Oh, I, I don't believe you... she is feasting. But she has deep, dark secret, and she thinks this feasting thing will help her. You can see him kind of, he's getting a little choked up. Oh, father-in-law. She, she wants to rid herself <laughs> of this world. Of course not. So I told her this tale of this, this isle that I found. It is not mine. It holds many mysteries. But I just keep to the shadows, keep quiet, out of the, the ancient business that's, that happens here. But sometimes things are lured to that well and I hear them thrash about, and then I hear nothing at all for a long time. So I told her this tale, and she was eager to jump into this void, again to rid herself of this world, to break the curse perhaps. And this old fool brought her here. Yes. Well, this handsome fool is going to save her. <laughs> Daryl says, and marches uh, out of the room. Okay. You march out of the room. What about Morning Cloak and Serial? Well, um, let's see. thank you for um, explaining to us the situation. Of course. I hope you can do what I could not. Bring her back. We will try. I'm trying to exit, <laughs> but I can't. Oh, you're trying to leave. Okay. <clears throat> I'll stay. I'll stay. I'll stay. Okay, I'll you're going to stay. Else leave and I'll okay. stay. Morning cloak staying. Okay, let me move. Serial. Do you want to do something? Because I can only have one scene open. So if morning cloak wants to do something, we can do that now and then shift yeah. to the other scene. Okay. Yeah, they're gone. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We hear the door lock behind us. Click. <laughs> Definitely at least closes. I'll approach closer. Okay. Now I'll stay on the side of the fire. <laughs> you heard anything of our kin, brother? Oh, there are some of us in the Vale. Not many, but we are welcome here, as all are out all outsiders. What say you? You come from the south? With these others? To seek what? By the looks of you, you have a code of some kind. Did you hope to come here to save this land? 
revitalize it, or just find its secrets. right now I'm not sure this party this group short-sighted the pathman seeks this woman The elf girl may we escape in the dark. Uh, be honest, I have no fucking clue. I have a purpose. I once felt stronger about it, but I don't know. What troubles you? Why do you not know? It's nature. There's something wrong. We all know it. We all see it coming. So you feel it too, the darkness here that is waiting just below the surface. I do not. Yet here we are chasing what the woman in a hole. Pull out the crown of the demon king. Okay. Darkness surrounds us all, and I am torn. Nature does not mourn. It will persist. It will survive. There is nothing that it will not overcome. Humanity is what will fall. I guess I have to question is that such a bad thing? Hmm. Well, this land and the humanity that existed here has fallen once before. I'm sure it will fall again. But I'm sure if you've made it this far, you've been to the, the young settlements called Outskirt in the center of the valley. So they, they are persistent. Humankind, dwarves, halflings, you know this. They just want to grow and grow and grow and spread and spread and spread. They mean well, but... They are like a disease at times. However, it looks like you have made friends with some of the good folk. Because even though darkness mm. rises here, there is light. I see it. I'm too old to do anything about it, but I'll just sit here on my tower and watch it from afar and hopefully that uh, the light wins out with the young folk like yourselves because something is rising something dark something ancient something that will not lie for long I sense it about you as well you guys have tokens keys to this thing. You better be careful with those. They are very dangerous. There are many people that seek them out. I mean, 
We have more than one group following us. But again, I'm torn. Nature is not sad and nature does not mourn. And as you said, these... Humanity is a disease. I saw something last night on the shores of your island. What did you see? Spectral vines. These these vines crawling. Vines. Spreading. And, and then wilting and dying. I... Perhaps my listlessness is because I have not been contacted by my liege in too long. I've begun to question, is this part of your island or is this just for me? Hmm. So he, um, he kind of squats down in the, uh, in the distance in this little alcove. And he says, um, well, I think that's a question you have to answer yourself, young one. And when this happens, you see like these vines come from behind him and they start to snake out, crawl along the walls from the shadows and they are colorless just like the one you saw before, but there are many. And they start to grow up the walls around him. Does he speak to you now? I think, like, I'm looking at these vines crawling, and I think he can tell that obviously, like, I'm seeing something. Yeah. There are many abominations here. And as I said, I am not strong enough to rid this world of them. So maybe that can be your purpose you seek, that can dissolve any doubt away you have about why you are here. I mean, maybe this young man is seeking love and that is but a spark, but a small light in this growing darkness that we need. So much violence, so much destruction. And then he kind of goes quiet for a moment. And then you see the, the vines, the shadow vines kind of recede back into the alcove. He almost looks like exhausted after this happens. He kind of like slouches even further, further down. I'm going to make my way over to him. Okay. And I want to like put one hand on like a shoulder and I'm going to reach out like the other hand. And I want to do the whole like, you know, like one of these yeah. guys. You know, yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, okay. I just say, thank you, brother. I have been seeking I don't know what, and somehow I found it here. So when you, you grab his arm and he, he weakly shakes back, you can, you can feel like the very, very just emaciated figure underneath the fur. And he, he nods. Well, uh, I suppose I have brought just a little bit of light back into this world. And he kind of wheezes out a laugh. Go now, help your friends. Because they are for your friends. They are truly your friends. At least one. <laughs> Oh, you are quite welcome, young one. I'll turn and walk away, but I'm muttering the whole time. It's like, I can't believe I have to just fucking go <laughs> over this fucking half, man. This is my purpose now as a fucking matchmaker. I really do. 
Okay. <laughs> so you, thank you. Yeah. And I, and I, you make your, you. <laughs> okay. You guys make your way out. Um, and you guys are back here. So, I guess you'd be more over here. All right, math man, let's find your lady look. Hmm. Yes. Well, if there is nothing else to be said, I shall dive into the water. Wow, you're going to just jump? Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> already gone. He's already gone. Well, this, yeah, He's, wait, in the water. You, He's already gone. Do you say it or are you just fucking Can like, I grab go? Him? No, no. I, I said if, if anyone objects, uh, I don't mind a second opinion. Yes. <laughs> nope, we're good. He told me that that's totally what you should do. <laughs> he like pushes yeah. that. Yeah. And he's definitely not hooking up with our wink wink. <laughs> wait, what? Uh, <clears throat> oh, I want to make yeah. sure. I want to. I I one hundred percent want to make sure. I at least have some of the fur still from him. Yeah, I, I could say you scoop some up or have some. Yeah, I'll on. scoop yeah. some up because yeah. I'm definitely gonna be. Thanks. I need that for something. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, go ahead. Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Yes. Yes. Uh. Do you not want to try to find safer, safer way down? Perhaps try to climb. If you fall, you fall. But maybe not just dive, dive in all uh, willy nilly. Gibbering old fool in the other room uh, said that uh, if we could breathe underwater, there might be a better way in. Oh, I don't think I have a spell like that. Nor do I have any magic berries. Could uh, I could do that? Hmm. So yeah, you guys standing at the edge of this well, you do see that um, you know the the wall of this well is is climbable. There's some stones missing. It's it's very ruined. It's not like a very smooth surface. So um, rope or not, you could attempt it for sure. Can we tell how far down the water is or no? It's tough to say. It's tough to see because, um, I mean, you can see kind of like this fractally, like these, like a pool reflection kind of coming up. It looks pretty, pretty deep down. Can I just like kick a rock over the edge and see how it's? Yeah. Turned? Yeah. So you kick a lot, kick a rock. It's like, I don't know, like four seconds, three seconds. I'm not good with uh, rock dropping distances, but. 32 feet it per seems... second squared in a vacuum. So I don't know. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty far down for sure. Oh. Is... Daryl is going to look for a way to climb down instead of just yeah. chomping like a, a fool. Yeah, yeah. So you want to start climbing down? Well, he's going to want to first uh, at least check to see if there is... Uh, enough like um, stones jutting out. Uh, yeah, that it would for make sure. sense for him to try to yeah. climb. Yeah, you could climb. You could attempt to mm. climb down there. Yeah. All right. Um, so he's going to. Uh, he's gonna take out his purse. Uh, and he's gonna he's gonna leave his first and his uh, field ration on the somewhere uh, fairly safe. He doesn't want to be weighed down by all the treasure he's gonna get when he comes up again. Um, and um, then he's gonna climb down. Okay. Why don't you roll me a uh, I guess like a strength. As you make your way down here, unless you're going to use some other tool or piece of equipment you have that could aid you in some way. But if you're just going to climb it raw, then I'll say it's probably going to be a strength check. Yeah. Dang, Darrow's pretty uh, strong. Mm-hmm. Yes, and well endowed. Anyway, 
Yes, uh, I, I will. Uh, I will try it now. Uh, I hope you come with me. Uh, uh, but uh, here we go. Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Immediately, just <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Son of oh, a that, gun. oh, sorry, uh, uh, podcast people. He he just he totally failed that roll. So, would you like to push the roll and attempt um, as you're losing your footing and your hand holds? Yes. Uh, damn it. Oh uh, shit. Okay, so yeah, one of the stones come loose, and Please. you. Fall, fall into the darkness, and I think that's a perfect place to end tonight's session, everybody. <laughs> As Daryl plummets uh, down into the uh, supposedly watery depths. So, uh, stream, uh, people, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Happy birthday, Kevin, again, if you're still here. Hope you had a good time hanging out with us. Uh, thank you, um, Patrick, for the amazing Dragon Bane system and everybody over at Dragon Bane uh, that helped with the development of this project. Uh, thank you, Andreas, for the amazing soundtrack, which I haven't changed the track in some time because I like this one. <laughs> thank you, um, Noel and Hymat, for letting us use um, your music as well. And uh, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for, for playing. I think that was a great session. Thank and, you, Hunter, uh, for showing up. Who? Oh, Hunter. Hunter. Yep. What's up, thanks Hunter? For you up just thanks time. thanks for showing up, man. Don't forget to like <laughs> like the stream. Get us up on the algorithm. But yeah, that was a good one. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll end it there. Uh, Ryan, any weekly scroll announcements you'd like to talk about that's coming down the pike? Yeah. Uh, what's today? Wednesday? Tomorrow? We have an episode tomorrow. Our normal day is Thursday mornings. We're gonna be looking at um, Vermhack from. Charlie Ferguson Avery and uh, Feral Indie Studio. It's a nice. fun one. Nice. Yeah, it's a it's a good one. It's also like pretty much the last day of the month. Uh, so we're gonna be doing our last Zine Quest uh, kind of spotlight roundup. Uh, a lot of projects in the Zine Quest kind of start in January and end in February, or start in February and in March. So there's still some stuff going on. Uh, so we're gonna spotlight that one more time. Um, and uh and that's kind of it we're still figuring out what our plans are for march um but uh that that's what's coming up to tomorrow we might do we, we might do a bonus episode on friday i haven't decided um but uh but we'll see cool awesome looking forward to it all right everybody well oh yeah not going to be here next week i'm going to be out of town so we're going to postpone the session but we should be back the following week hope to catch you there uh don't forget about the podcast check that out too and um, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.